Hello, Grand Harbor members. Here we are with this week's email for Friday, May 14th. Let's go over some of the course uh, maintenance updates. So this week we finished the second spray application over on the Harbor Golf Course. Um, on the River Course, we just finished uh, dry ejecting the greens this week. That's uh, us shooting down dry sand into the greens to get more sand into the profile of the greens. And we followed that with uh, with some verticutting. So Josh has been very aggressive, which we are very happy to see uh, on the river course. And that'll pay dividends uh, down the line for us for sure. Um, range hours, new range hours for the summer. And obviously these are always subject to change. But as of right now, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, we're open from 7.30 to 5.30. The reason we do that is we have to clean pick at night. We mow the next mornings. But on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we're open basically from 7.30 to dusk. Um, the ball's going to stay out anyway. If you want to go over there and hit some balls late at night, feel free. Um, but that's the, that's the range schedule as of right now. Summer clinic schedule. So Ben and I have been working on a summer clinic schedule. Um, that's below in this email. The attachment is there. Uh, but we're basically doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, from 9 to 10.30. Just email Ben at bstewart at grandharbor.com to sign up. Uh, play with the pros update. So week two came by. This was a fun week. Uh, we basically had couples uh, playing. Uh, I played with the men this week. Ben played with the ladies. So it was Tom and Pat Lauda, uh, Rick and Maureen Carmen, and uh, Andy and Sue Michaels. We had a one-shot lead until Ben had a miraculous uh, pencil adjustment, you know, with a big fat eraser on it. Um, so we ended up tied. So we we're going to have a, a grudge match at some point, but it was a fun time. Lots of laughs in the group. Uh, we had a great time, and we're enjoying playing with the members as much as they're enjoying playing with us. So we encourage anybody to come out and play with us. Uh, just email uh, Ben to sign up. Uh, do this a couple weeks in advance because it's pretty popular. People are signing up you know, two or three weeks in advance right now. So if you want to play, um, we'd love to have you. Uh, know that next week is the final Friday we're going to do it on, then we move it to Wednesdays. When we move it to Wednesdays, it's going to be from 9, to t uh, 9 and 9, 10 in the morning, just so we can try to beat the heat out there. Uh, the Wine and Nine summer schedule. Full schedule is going to be upcoming. Um, thank you for bearing with us. Uh, just a lot of moving parts right now. But the first one is set in stone. That's Monday, May 31st with a 4 p.m. shotgun and dinner to follow. Um, so far, great. We've only been open for about three days. We've got, I think we have 44 players as of today. Um, so that's been tremendous so far. So uh, look for some more details on that event in the, in the upcoming weeks. But if, again, if you want to play, uh, Ben didn't send out a link. Uh, if you have that link, sign up through uh, either the link or the uh, app on your phone, or you can always uh, email Ben as well. Um, membership. Um, things are going like gangbusters in, in the membership world. So thank you to everyone for help for helping out with that, sending your friends over uh, that might be looking to join. Uh, remember that um, if you're going to move into your categories, uh, do so before October 1st. There are some credits involved depending on which categories you start and end up in. And then for those that are in those swap categories, those swaps will go away. I believe that the, right now we're talking at the end of 2022. Um, so if you're in those swap categories and you uh, still want to take advantage of some of these uh, credits, uh, try to do that before October 1st. Uh, don't forget, anybody that's in those categories, uh, you're going to go from an equity category to a non-equity category. You do not lose your equity. You always have that equity from your original membership. Uh, golf shop merchandise. Uh, remember, the May 15th is the deadline to use your credits. If, if you're here and it rolls over, you know, a week or two, that's fine. Just try to get in there and use it so we can turn over that product and bring in some new stuff here in the fall. Uh, below is an, is an attachment with the updated list. Uh, I believe it's as of, I want to say it's as of Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Um, so maybe you've come in and spent some of that credit. If your name's on that list, don't worry about it if you've already spent it. But if you see your name on there, it's in alphabetical and also by, um, by a money list as well. Just come on in and uh, try to use those credits. For those members out there that, um, you know, that either typically rent or might be looking to rent out uh, their house or their, uh, if you have a condo or townhouse here, if you're going to rent it out and you, uh, you need a little help, um, please contact us, either myself or Mike Gibson or Catherine uh, or Jody Voigt, uh, Vote, excuse me. Um, you know, we're here to assist in that process. We get a lot of requests for rental units and we have a, we do have a kind of a master list that goes out to people that request rental units. And if you want to be added to that list, you certainly can do so. Uh, just please contact us so we can add you to those lists. Uh, there are quite a few uh, rental inquiries that are coming in already. Um, the river course for this summer 
And it may go beyond that. I don't know that answer yet. Uh, but basically, we want to make sure that the members, um, that might not love the river course, so might struggle a little bit on the river course. We want to make sure they can enjoy the river course throughout the summer because we are going to be on that golf course for four, four and a half months, roughly, while the harbor course is being renovated. So with the help of Joe Wilgus, um, we went out and we created two new golf courses, two new short courses, and you'll see them on a PDF in this link here. Basically, we created one uh, that's just, just over 3,000 yards. And the reason we did that is because you have to be over 3,000 yards in order to have it rated by the FSGA, Florida State Golf Association. And that's important so then you can still post those scores. Um, outside of that, um, we also created a 150-yard club. That's for members that just want to go out, have some fun, don't want to play a long golf course. We certainly understand that. It could be nine holes, could be 18 holes. We have it rated, or we have it set up, I should say, on the 150-yard club um, for an 18-hole golf course. Whether you choose to play nine or 18, it's irrelevant. Those scores you cannot post if you're going to do the 150-yard club. Those are basically all 18 holes, 150 yards and in. What we've done is, you know, got a little creative, and on some of the holes that are par fives or where the mangroves are on the back, uh, we're basically letting you tee it up a little closer, up on a tee, letting you hit driver from the fairway. That's basically the tee box. We'll convert those par fives into par threes, some of those par fours into par threes. We want to make it a little bit easier for everyone to, to be able to get all those mangroves and have some fun out there. So we're going to have some scorecards um, that will be designated for those short golf courses. We'll pre-print them here in my office, and then we'll have them outside with the bag staff and or in the golf shop. If you're going to play the short course, just grab one of those cards. You can uh, write your scores down on that. And then, again, if you're playing the one over 3,000 yards, post the score. If you're playing the short golf course, the 150-yard club, it's not necessary to post that because you can't post it. Uh, so we hope that you enjoy that golf course uh, a little bit more. Um, you know, we, we try to do our best to make sure that everyone can go out there and enjoy yourself. Um, other than that, just remember a few of the, uh, the simple items. Uh, you know, fill those divots, break those bunkers, uh, and dress code, please. Uh, I know it gets hot. Shirts get untucked. Make sure those shirts are tucked in. Uh, hats are worn forward. When you're on the range, please don't be out there in T-shirts. Um, you know, we don't want to be out there as, as the police coming over to you telling you, You've got to be you know, tucking in your shirts. You know, people get upset at us for having to come over there and do that. But uh, if you're following the rules in the first place, we won't be over there telling you that. So help us out a little bit. Make sure you dress properly, you know, throughout the, the entire property, frankly. Um, if anybody has any questions in the meantime, you can always get a hold of us here at the golf shop or email us. Mine is tperry at grantharbor.com or Ben is ben Stewart, or B. Stewart at grantharbor.com. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the email. We'll see you next week. Take care.